Happy birthday, Liz! Oh, John, you're spoiling me. You must have better things to do with your money. Yeah, spend it on the cat. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, John. You're a darling. And that's not all, Liz. Huh? I've cooked a delicious four-course Italian dinner. Oh, John, I love Italian food. Once again, Liz is trying to do my job. And this is from the three of us. What? Garfield, Odie, and me. John, this is wonderful. You all look so pretty in this picture, especially Garfield. <laughs> the camera loves me. It must have been quite difficult to take this, getting Garfield and Odie to sit still long enough. Nah, it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Do not believe that, man. You have no idea what it took to get that picture. It all started yesterday morning. <sighs> yum, 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 yum. It had been a perfect day. Woke up at 10, had breakfast, back in bed by 10.15. Just as I was waking up for my pre-lunch snack, John came in with one of those looks on his face. Garfield, Odie, this is very important. Very important is something that affects my eating or sleeping? Tomorrow is Liz's birthday. Not very important. <laughs> and we're going to give her a very special gift, a family picture. <laughs> Great. Go find a family and take one. Here's a sketch of the photograph I have in mind. I want the three of us with great big smiles. <gasps> this is silly. No force on this planet could get me to do this. And if you guys cooperate and we get the picture exactly right, there'll be extra lasagna tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I sell out cheap, don't I? Anything involving tomato sauce and I'm yours. Okay, guys, let's go to it. It'll only take a few minutes. It'll only take a few minutes. When does anything that will only take a few minutes actually only take a few minutes? I have a timer on this so I can get in the picture before it goes off. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's set the timer on, uh, let's say, 10 seconds. <sighs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, looks like I set the timer wrong. <laughs> huh? Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you got your best side. This time we should be all right. I set the timer on 30 seconds. Okay, guys, look at the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Hurry up. I have a cramp in my jaw. Maybe I forgot to push the right button. I'll just take a quick look. I think the last shot of you was better. Jeez. Say cheese. Chatter. Odie, stop it. Bad dog. Bad dog. And that's pretty much how it went all day long. Say cheese. All this talk of cheese is making me hungry. Cheese. Meow. Meow? This is an awful picture, Nermal. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You're in it. That's what's wrong with it. Why can't I be in the picture? I'm adorable. This is a family picture, Nermal, and you are not, I'm pleased to say, family. In any case, you're too close to the camera. Oh, how far should I be? Whoa! About that far. <laughs> Chatter. How far you 
sending me this time. Maybe you can have your picture taken with some Martians. <laughs> And don't come back! Oh. Cheese. Hi, neighbor. I was fixing myself a nice cup of coffee, and then I realized I was out of sugar. I was wondering if I could borrow some from you. We're trying to take a photo here. Hey. Good shot of the next door neighbor. Lousy shot of you. <laughs> Chatter. Liz? Uh, yeah, we're on for your birthday celebration tomorrow. <gasps> John? John? Are you there? He was there. His brain wasn't, but he was. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi again, neighbor. You won't believe what I found under my sink. An old package of sugar. <laughs> so I, I guess I won't be needing yours. How's that family picture of yours coming along? What part of the uh, phrase don't come back wasn't clear? <laughs> If this seems drastic to you, you're obviously never met Nermal. Trust me, it's necessary. Uh, oh no, my nostril is itching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Figures. The weather report was for clear skies and temps in the 80s. Say cheese, everyone. I keep saying cheese and not getting any. No comment. All right, now. Before I start the timer, is everything okay? No rain showers imminent? Not a cloud for miles. No one's nose itches? I scratched mine already. How about you? No one's going to interrupt us? No one's going to interrupt us. Fine. I'm starting the timer. <laughs> Say cheese! Has someone order a large pizza with extra pepperoni and mushroom? Why? Huh? <laughs> Hey, it's your fault for making me think of cheese all day. All right, I've had enough. It's time to do something drastic. Okay, everyone ready? Do you think this looks okay? Of course it looks okay. I am one of the world's greatest professional photographers. I can make anyone look good. Even the three of you. All right. I think. You know, if you'd have done this in the first place, it would have saved us a lot of grief. Here? All right. Here we go. One, two, three. 
Two, three, cheese! I need more pizza. Perfect! Magnificent! I have outdone myself. I shall make a print for your lady friend. And that's what it took to get the picture taken for Liz. Well, it's a great photo, and I thank you all for it. It's just... Huh? Oh. Uh, something wrong with it? Oh, no. It's great, but... Well, John, there's a certain expression I know you for. A, a special look you often have on your face. What look is that? Well, it's hard to describe, but it's so typically you. Hmm. <laughs> John, that's the look I know you for. I know that look very well. Soon, Nico. It will be time. <laughs> Soon the lightning will commence. Soon I shall bring my creation to life. Soon I shall have a tuna salad sandwich on rye with a side of slaw. <laughs> Back in a second, Puppo. The power of the lightning cursing through the body will make it happen. <laughs> Today's Dodie's birthday. John's making cake so we can surprise him. And I'm going into the kitchen to see how things are going. Oh, and also because I want a tuna salad sandwich on rye with a side of slaw. Here's the frosting I'll need later, and I have my cake decorators. Now, if you're all ready, we'll start, okay? Now, to make our cake yummy and fluffy, add in a whole cup of baking soda. One whole cup of baking soda, mm -hmm. And three dashes of vanilla. Three dashes of vanilla. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of... Oh, no. I'm out of sugar. I forgot to bring it in from the car. Garfield, quick. You keep adding the ingredients like he says while I run out to the car. <laughs> no. The next thing we need to add is a cup of flour. John never makes his cakes big enough. I'll put in a whole bag. Two sticks of yeast. Twelve sticks of yeast. Half a cup of milk. All the milk. I must add just a few things to my monster to bring it to life. <laughs> <laughs> add in a few pieces of chocolate. All the chocolate we have in the house. <laughs> Here I come, Garfield. Thanks, Garfield. I can take over. Good. Cooking isn't as much fun as eating. Now, let's see. Where am I in this recipe? Two cups of vinegar. Two cups of vinegar? Well, he must know what he's doing. Sodium carbonate and sulfur. Sodium carbonate and sulfur? Where am I going to get... Oh, wait. My old chemistry set. Oh, don't be scared, Pupster. It's just a monster movie. <laughs> Hody, I can't eat my sandwich with a dog on my face. Add in the ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. This is the oddest cake recipe. And now, it is time to put the batter in a pan and place it in the oven. I hope Odie likes his birthday cake. <laughs> and now, the power of the lightning will bring life to my creation. <laughs> But now, the power of the lightning is working. Calm down, Odie. It's just a storm. There's nothing to worry about. Odie, you're acting like you're in that silly monster movie. 
nation is beginning to grow. It is coming to life. Mm. I'll just have a small piece about the size of Portugal. Uh-oh, lights are out. But I can find my way to food in the dark. Hey, where's the cake? Do you still Odie's birthday cake? That's my job. Admit it, you took Odie's cake. Well, it didn't just get up and walk out. Huh? It's amazing. That's astonishing. It is, however, an excellent size for dessert. Hey, leave me alone. What did I ever do to you except eat a million of your relatives? Stay away from me. All right, you asked for it. Garfield? Take this and this. That's a good-looking cake. Garfield! But it's still a monster! Are you trying to eat the cake I made? <laughs> Actually, it's the other way around. It's... 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 <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Follow the pussycat! <laughs> Love a man who forgets my birthday. <laughs> Sheila, honey, I didn't. Uh, I mean, but I, I did, but I, I didn't. Well, that is to say, oh, what's the use? Oh, oh Harvey, you didn't forget my birthday. You got me a cake. I did. Oh. Yeah, I did. I don't know how this happened. I did everything the guy on the TV cooking show said. <laughs> then maybe he'll know what to do. Yummy cake turned out right after this commercial. And we're out. Back on the air in 30 seconds. Oh, Mr. Hotchkiss, how are you enjoying the show today? <sighs> the show's boring. Who wants to watch people cook? <sighs> but I'm trying to make it interesting. Yesterday I made veal scallopini. It was wonderful. Veal scallopini is boring too. That's why I'm canceling your program. <laughs> Oh, please don't cancel me, Mr. Hoskins, please. Cooking is my life. After you finish today's show, take your spatula and get out. Back from commercial in 10 seconds, Eddie. <laughs> oh. Garfield? Odie? <laughs> oh. Oh.
now, people. <laughs> Let's go to the oven and see how our, our cake turned out. I knew I put in too much baking soda. Somebody has to stop it! And I'm afraid that somebody's gonna be me. It won't be pretty, but I'm gonna make the supreme sacrifice. I'm gonna eat it. Hey, did I get about 500 gallons of ice cream to go with this? Stop! I was just kidding about eating you. I'm on a low-cake diet. Oh. Oh. Huh? This is exciting! It's just what your show needed, Eddie. I'm renewing you for another season. Oh, oh thank you. Hey, bakery boy, look at me for a second. Hold this. I think I'd better get off this antenna in a hurry. For about the next ten minutes, it's gonna be raining cupcakes. Happy birthday, boy! Sunday buffet at Vito's. Best pizza in the whole universe. Whew, sounds good. <laughs> Must be that brand new waffle machine I ordered last week on the shopping channel. Yeah, but what the heck? Where's my waffle machine? They must have mixed up orders. Now I'm officially miffed. Telepathic helmet. World's first telepathic gadget that allows you to read other people's minds. Batteries included, made in China, blah, 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 blah. Bogus, fake, phony, unsightly. Hey, what did... Well, I might as well give it a try. Hmm, let's see. Flick the power switch to on, then find someone and use the green knob to tune into their most inner thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I need to crank up the volume a bit. Ugh. <laughs> Knew it. This stuff doesn't work. Just like the silly x ray glasses they sell in comic books. Need cup. Of coffee now. Huh? Whoa. Who would have thought that? This stupid helmet actually works. <laughs> oh, I should have known better than to use Odie to set the volume. That dog is totally brainless. <gasps> Hiya! Here's your favorite freshly baked morning lasagna. <laughs> uh, uh. I hope he won't notice I cooked him some... Frozen lasagna, huh? Did you really think you could get away with this? Police. Uh, I can explain. The grocer was out of cheese. 
That cat is way too smart. Lucky he doesn't know about the carrot cake I hid behind the milk carton and the... Meow! Ice cream sure looks yummy. Do you mind if I have a tiny lick? Actually, I would. I've been selected as one of the finalists in the cutest cat pageant, and I don't want to catch anyone's germs before the final judging, especially yours. <laughs> if Garfield doesn't notice I'm wearing eyeliner, maybe the judges won't know either. Hey, Nermal, those contests usually have a rule against makeup. It would be a real shame if the judges found out you were wearing eyeliner. <laughs> you know about the eyeliner? I didn't tell anyone. <coughs> oh. And we'll doubt we'll find it on Earth. This planet is way too primitive. We must report to Emperor Calizone at once. Meet me in the alley and make sure no one follows you. Affirmative. Hmm. I have no idea what they're up to, but I'd better keep an eye on them. <laughs> Whoa! Holy manicotti! They're aliens posing as humans! This better be good. I was only halfway through the Sunday comics. Our lifelong quest across the galaxies hasn't been in vain, my master. May have found it on a small planet they call Earth. Vito's Restaurant. Best pizza in the whole universe. Go now and investigate further. And if indeed this pizza is the best in the universe, we shall invade Earth and force Earthlings to cook millions of pizzas for our own planet. <laughs> yes, your bicep will find us. Wow. The fate of our planet and our pizza is on my shoulders. I better go warn Vito. Who knows? Maybe I can get a free lunch out of it. Where do you think you are going, Garfield? Vito, you have to let me in. Some nasty aliens are on their way and they're after your pizza. What's the matter? You can't read the new sign on the door. Okay. All you can eat for $6.99 does not apply to orange cats whose names begin with G. Hardy har har. Very funny. Now, you gotta excuse me. I got us some customers. Oh, good evening. Please come in. Oh, we're looking for the best pizza in the universe. <laughs> and you come to the right place. You come this way. So. What kind of pizza do you like? Oh, <laughs> all of them. Oh, you must be really hungry, no? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> you like? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, everything except this. Oh. You don't like the anchovy. These things are highly toxic uh, to our kind. I make the pizza without anchovies. <gasps> they don't like anchovies? <laughs> no, no. And no. Oh, but we haven't tried the Hawaiian and Vito's special. 
Look, lady, I tell you for the thousandth time, it's already 20 minutes past the closing time. You go now. This human is annoying me. Can I eat him now? Don't. His pizza really is the best in the universe. Let's report to Emperor Calzone at once. I hate sci-fi. Aliens or no, I don't make any more pizza. Where is my pizza? Let me handle this, my bicephalous highness. Greetings, Earthling. The superior and unique taste of your pizza is legendary across the universe. Emperor Calzone himself has traveled across the whole galaxy just to give it a try. Really? If he likes your pizza, he'll want to export it across the Milky Way. We're talking major interstellar distribution here. Of course! You give me 15 minutes, and I'll bake him the best pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> what are you doing here? Vito, you can't cook for them. They want to take over the Earth. Why you try to wreck Vero's masterpiece? Is this got to be my best? Think of the free publicity if Emperor Calzone, he like my pizza. <laughs> if only he could understand the aliens like I do. Of course. Why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> hey, what do you think you are doing? Those Earthlings are so gullible. <laughs> when are we taking over their unsightly planet? As soon as Emperor Calzone has tasted their pizza. Now I see. We gotta do something. I second that. Anchovy, of course. We're gonna cook them a pizza and they'll never forget. <laughs> He is, uh, he is my helper. <laughs> Treason! You, you tried, tried to, to poison, poison your, your emperor! emperor. Uh, but, but your bicephal highness, uh, we, I... I am sending both of you to work in my uranium mines on the dark side of Valdebaran. I'm canceling the Earth invasion. We'll come back in a few thousand years to see if the Earthlings have improved on their cooking. This is the worst pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> Okay, I guess I owe you that much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you're still hungry, cat. Bring it on. <laughs> And don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. 
Convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. I'm Garfield, <gasps> we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because, as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going. Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then. Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand. That is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> Boy, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. Uh-oh. Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> oh. Garfield! Did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? Ah! <laughs> 
I have mice in my cupboard! I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! Oh, my. Mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice. Calling all mice! Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves! No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way! This is our new home! Wow! <laughs> <Ow>, boo! <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What am I gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're going to have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back! Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield! Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. 
Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya. <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are. Luigi, you have to do something. You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice. Never mind the mice. I need an exterminator to get rid of him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs>